Come on. Yeah. Where you going, cute? You've been waiting about six, seven months for the mother chain so you can wear that right now. So that looks good. Amen. 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 And Brother Ernie uh, 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 is here and, and, and uh, uh, a God saying. And because uh Joe, so that I ain't called you yet. Go ahead. Right there, right there, right there. Yo, I said right there. Yeah. <laughs> he had a hurt. He had a hurt. Both of them go out to sit down. But Brother Ernie uh, uh, came to us in a wonderful way. Uh, because when you talk about the work of Christ, when you talk about the Bible, when we read the Bible, we, 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 we talk about how Jesus came for the Jews first. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he came uh, 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 that they may uh, uh, receive him, understand him, and move into the direction of uh, 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 Christianity, of the new way, the fulfilled way, to 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 enrich their life. Uh, we are honored because uh, uh, Brother Ernie is our convert. <laughs> and, and, and I love having them because when I teach and when I talk about uh, 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 the uh, 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 Judaism and stuff, I, I, I can always look over there. Am I saying it right? Am I saying it right? He said, "Yeah, Pastor, you right on it. Right on it. You right on it." And uh, uh, but to hear his testimony uh, of his conversion uh, and, and and to thank the people in his life, Doctor Cooper. And, uh, 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 Ned and all uh, uh, his family uh, uh, to be not afraid to introduce Christ uh -huh. Uh -huh. because uh, they introduced and they showed him what Christ looked like and, and he was uh, excited and that's what should happen when when somebody don't try to just shove it down your throat but when, you, when they see Christ in action they get excited Amen. so uh, uh, first time he came uh, here to church and, and he told uh, 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 Coop, if I may uh, tell Coop, uh, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I already found my church, so it, <laughs> we're, I'm good, I'm good, so it, and then it was a matter of time uh, that they joined, and we've been blessed by him, uh, uh, his, his diligence, uh, his love, uh, uh, his dedication. Uh, to the service of God, Amen. Uh, 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 he came and renewed our uh, our program of feeding the homeless, and uh, uh, that he said, Pastor, you know that he goes out uh, every other Thursday and take lunches out, and so far they're reaching that number close to what three thousand? No, no, what we at? Over a thousand. <laughs> Over a thousand. Okay, okay. Over a thousand. We get close to fifteen hundred, Amen. So, somewhere over there. But I mean that's not bad when you're talking about what a couple of years, a little over a year, and a little bit over a year and a half, yeah. thousand yeah. people yeah. Uh, have received. So that's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful yeah. thing, and it can only get better and bigger. Amen. Yeah. And as we continue to grow that program, we go grow. One of my hopes is is that uh, uh, we can that God bless me, uh, this 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 church to where we have a full time kitchen. Uh, that well, we can uh, uh, serve every day. Mm -hmm. We can serve every day. Uh, uh, serve uh, lunch and breakfast every mm. day. Uh, that we can feed. Uh, we can feed the people. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and I know God already got us for that. That's right. And, uh, uh, I, I don't worry about how. I just know He'll make a way. That's right. Amen. Amen. And we'll be able to do just like our pantry, just like everything else we do. Uh, uh, he always provides us everything that we need. Amen. Yeah. So I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Uh, when you want to talk about faith, faith in God, healing faith, here he is. That's uh, right. Uh, 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 and that's not to exclude it. I know we got another, uh, you know, uh, my evangelist over there does that just went through. But but I remember uh, when you got a, a, a newcomer. Hmm. That exhibit that faith, and to find out he got a devastating what they call a devastating disease, 
And he said, Pastor, my face strong. Mm -hmm. I'm all right. That is. And every Wednesday when he went to California, we called, he, we talked every Wednesday. And, and to come back and, and then to know already what God had already said and we know it was true. We just, the doctors just didn't know. But then God told them to. It surprised them. It surprised them. That Amen. the fact is that what they saw wasn't there no more. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. God had already given a clean bill of health. Uh -huh. And the doctor just had to find out later. Uh -huh. And then it's amazing. They said, mm -hmm. we don't know what it is. And it's like, okay, let me help you. Something, no, it ain't something. We give a name to something, amen. His name is God. Yes. Amen. I told him that. Amen. And if they saw him look at you like you're crazy, and saw him say, you know what? Right. You're absolutely right. Uh, because faith works. That's right. Amen. Do do. Faith amen. works. Yes, amen. Sir. So, amen. then what happened was is that this young man over here, come on here. Come on, youngster. Come on, youngster. Embrace it. This young man here right there came up and he said, you know what? Uh, I've been watching. I, I, I watch you do the women and stir my heart that there's a person in my life that I see that is like a father figure to me. Um, uh, 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 and he said, is that strange, Pastor? Mm -hmm. He said, because I'm not actually a youngster. I said, but in God's eyes, it's huh. okay. Look at spirit. You have a spirit, of, and, and and this is true. Anybody that knows George knows he has a spirit yes. of a kid. Because yes, he <laughs> he'll come in and yes. well, first thing he takes, spread, love. spread, spread love. the love, spread the love, spread the love, spread the love, spread the love. Spread the love. That's right. spread the love. And, give and, and give me my hug. <laughs> and and with a with a childlike with a childlike faith, and that's the faith God tells us that we got to have uh, 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 because a child. A child is always open, mm -hmm. ready for us. We the one that destroys that, the adults, because a child is full of anticipation, oh, wonder, uh, excitement uh, uh, about Jesus. life. And then we turn around uh, and in our adult yeah, don't way, don't we destroy that. that. Instead of feeding to them, let them have their imagination, let right. them dream. Mm. Hallelujah. Let them dream about the possibility uh, you could be whatever, whatever. you want to be. <laughs> if you want to be a doctor, okay. you can be a doctor. Right. If you want to be president, you can be president. Right. Yeah. If you want to be a pilot, and, and uh, I know we used to think about that time, they tell you can't be this. Right. That's right. Remember the time young girls could told you can only do this for you. Yeah, Today, a child could be whatever. whatever. You could be the next scientist that find a cure yeah. mm -hmm. okay. to a disease that's been taking us out. Come on there. Mm. <laughs> but our job is to encourage them. Right? Mm, that's right. Encourage them. Let them know whatever that you want to do, God will make a way. If that's what you truly want to do, I want you to act like you want it. <coughs> if you want to be a doctor, study in school like you want to be. Right. Do some, doctor stuff. Yes, do some stuff. Yes, Jesus, we're going to help you. But, 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 but a childlike faith, recognizing a father type thing, that you would say that. I want you in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, not against any, my own father, but thank God that 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 he would put somebody in my life I feel close enough. Because what is a father? Somebody that I can talk to. Someone that can mentor me. Someone that would listen to me. Come on. Someone that is not afraid of me. Mm -hmm. Uh, someone that says, hey, I'm watching you. I know you're grown, but maybe you might not want to do it that way. One who's not afraid to say, you know what? Uh, I understand what you're talking about because I've been there. I, I, I remember that and not afraid to tell you uh, 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 about an experience that may help you 
out of or not get into uh, uh, has nothing to do with age. Has to do with the love of Christ. Yes. Yes. What we are seeing here is what 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 Christ said. What Jesus said is brotherly love. Brotherly love can't be afraid to be affectionate. And the only reason that you're scared of the word affection because you don't understand. Yes. That that two men can be an affectionate towards each other. Our mind, limited mind, will go somewhere really abstract and crazy. Hmm. Because we don't understand the word affection and we don't understand the word love. And not only men, is that if you, somebody heard, if I said, somebody heard me say, LaShawn, I love you. Ooh, the pastor told her he loved her. I wonder what's going on because we don't understand. That's our job here at this church. My job is to teach what? Love. And here is love in action. When you look in the Bible, it, it bring to mind Paul and Timothy. Mm -hmm. Man, that was one way Paul once called Saul was one way mm -hmm. until he met Jesus on the road. Mm -hmm. Won't y'all look at Saul? That's right. One day on the road, <laughs> he met Jesus. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. Jesus had a conversation uh -huh. with him. And it stirred his heart and he changed his name from Saul to Paul. Hallelujah. And Paul had the same energy and, and, and excitement about his new endeavor mm -hmm. as he did when he was Saul. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm so loved. <laughs> Sold out. Sold out to Jesus. Just like he was sold out to the law. And, and, and when God, Jesus showed up in his life to talk to him, he was sold out for Jesus. Praise to God. Young man named Timothy. Raised by his mother and his grandmother. Knew the word. But talk to her. Messed around and heard. Now Paul. Preaching one day. Hard. Got to stir. He knew right then that. No matter what the cost was. If I want to know. That man. I want to not only know that man, but I want to know the God that he's talking about. I want to know this Jesus. I heard my mother and my grandmother talk about it, but uh, I'm looking at a man talking about and, 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 and nothing against my, I thank my mother and my grandmother, but it's something about being able to be just like, there's something about a woman being nurtured by a woman. That's right. That a man get nurtured and, and, and uh, by a man. Yeah. Don't take offense. God designed it that way. Because a, a, a mother can teach a son so far. Yeah, that's it. But a father can take him the rest of the way. Hallelujah. Jesus. Just like a father can only teach a daughter so far. But that mother takes it. That's why the family unit is so important. That's why it's important that because you may not be husband and wife forever, but you're always mama and daddy. Y'all got to hear what I just said, didn't you? Yeah. You may not be husband and wife forever. But one thing don't ever change is that you are mama and dad. Don't ever neglect your responsibility of mother and father because husband and wife didn't work. 
Amen. 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 So, so what happened is Timothy went to Saul, yeah. told him what he thought about him, and uh -huh. how excited he was, and Paul seeing the enthusiasm of him, saying, "Do you want to hang out with me?" Yeah. <laughs> Let me paraphrase. Do you want to hang out with me? So Paul took Timothy under his wing. Took him under his wings and gave him his knowledge. Bestowed upon him the knowledge that was given to him. Spent time with him. Talked to him about Christ Jesus. Amen? Because uh, uh, when you see, there's something about when you see somebody excited that makes you want to just feel everything you got. It's hard to talk to somebody that don't look like they're interested in oh, what you no, got to say. But when you find somebody that's excited about what you got to say, it it, 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 it invigorates you. It lifts you up to the point that, man, I, I got some more to tell you. Yes, yes, you know? yes. So this is what we see happening here. We see a Paul Timothy situation happen. That God has uh, so brought together these two men of God uh, to, to, to nurture, to affectionately look out for one another, to have conversations with each other, uh, 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 to be spiritually, in a sense, responsible. Because to be a God father to him, to be a father figure to this man says, I take some responsibility. Uh -huh. You can't say that lightly. I take some responsibility for you. And being that it's a God father, we know that that is a spiritual context. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. that, that, that a spiritual. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this relationship. You keep growing. Because it works. Learn from him. It works this way. It works this way. Awesome. That this relationship will grow as both remain open to the possibility, open-minded, willing. So, you stand here willing to teach and give. Absolutely. You stand here willing to be open and receive. Yes. You stand here to say, I'm not looking at age, color, nothing else. I see someone who loves. Absolutely. And want to love me. You look over here and you see wisdom. Mm -hmm. You tell Rome to get out of the way. Because mm -hmm. you're standing here saying, my grownness, I'm telling it to take a side seat mm -hmm. for a minute. Because I want to absorb what he had to give me. And I know I can't do that if I'm grown. Here. We know you're grown here, but we're talking about you. So right now, before everybody, I ask you, are you willing to take on the responsibility of being his spiritual father? With all my heart. Mm. Amen. Aww. And in doing so, you say that you will help, love, nurture him. Again, with all my heart. Amen. Amen. I ask you, you stand here before everybody saying, I want to be a spiritual son. Yes. Will you recognize that he has love, wisdom, compassion, and understanding to give to you? Yes. Will you stand ready to receive what he has to give to you? Yes. Will you... Uh, 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 uh. Honor him by loving God and letting this process take hold. Yes. Will you have patience? Yes. With him? Will you have patience? Absolutely. Promise? Yes. To look out. Amen. 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 So with great pleasure, I give you God. Right. God damn it. Oh, yeah, I heard it.
Amen. God bless you. 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 God bless because it said, our public is just like me, just like Baptist. Our public is want you to know who I belong to. I want you to know who I belong to. And I'm not afraid to tell somebody that I love them. I'm not afraid to let somebody know that I love and I respect them. Amen. Amen. And that's, that's not to get, uh, 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 everybody don't get you, but that don't mean that you not love too. Uh, no, don't, so don't take this. Nowhere other than what it is, an act mm -hmm. of love. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. Love you, Ernie. All right. Y'all know he's getting it.